Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to code some fun games in Python using ChatGPT on your Raspberry Pi. Now, in this video, I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi 5, but you could absolutely use a Raspberry Pi 4 or even a Raspberry Pi 3. Now, this is part of a larger series where I will be trying the same Python code, the same games on other AI types. If you want to compare different AIs, uh, check out the series. Now, let's get started. And to get started here, first, we're going to open up our internet browser and we're going to go to ChatGPT. And I'm already logged in, but this is a free account with ChatGPT, so I'm not paying anything. We're gonna do a rock, paper, scissors game, right? Python code for a rock, paper, scissors game. And here it is, rock, paper, scissors, play against the computer, and your choices are rock, paper, scissors, and it randomly chooses one, and then it tells you who the winner is and how to run it. Okay, great, let's do that. Hit programming and then use Genie or Thani. So I'm gonna use Genie on this one just to check it out. We're gonna go back to our browser and we're gonna copy the code. Just hit copy right here. Go to Genie, right click, and I'm gonna hit paste. And then I'm gonna save. I'm gonna make a new folder called games. And let's put this in games. We're gonna call this rock, paper, scissors, dot py enter and we're going to save that now we're going to click the run button here and welcome to rock paper scissors enter rock paper scissors i'm going to try scissors and it says the computer chose paper i won yay press return and that's the end of the game all right cool so that is our first game that we have made with rock paper scissors if you want to see that again let's play it again and let's choose something that's not on there mouse so then it says, no, that's not a choice. So I'm going to choose paper this time. And the computer chose rock and I won. Enter and it's over. So that's just a really good starter one where it's a complete game and you get to play with the computer. Now let's go back to this and let's say, I'll rewrite the code, the code for, for rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. And let's see if it knows the big bang theory version of this game. Here's an updated version with Lizard Spock. Lizard Spock, and it knows what the winning combinations are. Wow, it knows the rules of the game, and it even knows Big Bang Theory. This version uses a dictionary to map each choice uh, made popular by the show Big Bang Theory. Let's go back to copy, and let's do a new right click and paste that code in there, save it, and we're gonna put this in our games folder. I'm gonna name this big bang theory.py. Save, and then we're gonna hit play. Okay, I'm gonna choose Spock. And it's a tie. The computer also chose Spock. All right, let's play this again. Try this again. I'm gonna choose uh, Lizard. And uh, the computer chose Rock. And Rock beats Lizard, so I lost. And that is the first game with two variations where ChatGPT coded the entire game for me. And we're gonna do a new chat, and we're gonna say, hey, um, write Python code for a um, number guessing game. Uh, pick a number between one and 10, and the user will guess your number. So number guessing game, it's gonna pick a random integer between one and 10, and then you type in a number and see if you can get it. Copy that, and in this scenario, just to show you different ways of doing this, we're gonna go to programming Thani, and let's see how that works. All right, so kind of the same deal. You get a blank, you're gonna, t you're gonna paste your code in there, you're gonna have to save your code. Let's put this in the same folder, and we're gonna call this number guess.py. Enter, okay, save, then we're gonna hit run. Okay, I'm thinking of a number between one and 10, take a guess, I'm gonna choose five, hit enter. Too low, guess again. Okay, then I'm gonna choose seven. Too low, I'm gonna choose eight. 
Congratulations, you guessed it in three tries. That was a complete game coded by ChatGPT. You're choosing a number between one and 10. Now, what if we wanted to change this to one in a hundred? So let's go back to ChatGPT. So what I don't like about the way they coded this is they hard coded 10. So let's see if we can um, recode uh, so that 10 is a variable that I can change. Here's the updated version where the upper limit 10 is stored. So it's a variable I can change. It says upper limit equals to 10. Let's copy that code and we're gonna go back to Thani and we are going to do a new. I'm going to right click. I'm gonna paste that code in there, save it. I'm gonna do number guess and I'm gonna call this var.py. But what we're gonna do here is the upper limit is now 10. So now we can change this to 100. Guess a number between one and 100, hit save. I'm gonna hit run. Now it automatically changes all your variables to 100. So let's do 50, too high, 20, too high, 10, too low, 18. All right, it took me 14 tries and the number was 18. And uh, that's how you can change this. So that's a really simple way to do a number guessing game in Python and be able to change that upper limit number. Write Python code for a memory game with a GUI interface with a four by four matrix and you click on the tiles to reveal them. And it does use uh, Tinker library. So let's check this out, hit copy. So I'm gonna use my terminal here. We're gonna do this using our terminal command. So this is a great opportunity to practice terminal commands. LS to list where we are. I'm gonna CD into games. Okay, and then we're gonna make this a game. So nano uh, memory game dot py opens up new one. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit paste. And there's all that code. Control X to exit. Yes, I wanna save the buffer. Yes, I wanna write it to that name. And then I'm gonna type in Python, memory game.py. And here is the game. So we're gonna click on the first one. It's a number five. And that's six, okay, so that's not right. Four, two, three, eight, one, seven, so now I can see, all right, five, there we go. That was the first one. Six, I think six was over here. And there we go. Congratulations, you matched all the pairs. Okay, yay. So there is my four by four memory game. That's how you do it using terminal commands. And it used numbers. Why don't we wanna do animals instead? Recode uh, to use animals instead of numbers using animal emojis instead of numbers for a more fun and visual experience. Woohoo! Look at these little things. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, so copy. And we're gonna go back to our terminal, nano, and I'm gonna right click and paste that code in there. And I'm gonna hit Control X to exit. It's gonna ask me if I wanna save. Yes, I do. File name to write. Yes, that is it. So then I'm gonna do Python memory game animals.py. Let's run that. All right, so let's see. This is a box. That's a cat box. That's a monkey box. I don't think this is working properly. There's a monkey, so I've made one match there. I don't think it actually knows all the animal emojis. So unfortunately, I don't think this works properly. So let's, let's do recode to use animal in text instead of emojis. Okay, so we're gonna type, we're gonna see the word dog and cat instead of using the emojis. Animal memory game, all right, so we're gonna hit copy here and we're gonna go back to nano memory game animals and we're gonna clear all this out and then we're gonna right click, paste, all right, control X to exit, yes, I wanna save, enter, and now we're gonna and I, I'd use the up key, up arrow key in order to use the same command. Python, all right, let's see how this works. This is a pig, frog, panda, pig, pig, pig. All right, there we go. We got the first match. There we go. And I've matched all the animals, yay. All right, so there are variations of the memory game 
with the GUI interface using ChatGPT to code in Python. And uh, yeah, you can make little changes here. Let's say you don't want certain animals or there are animals you like better than others. You can always go back and change it up. CD games. And then you want to nano uh, memory game dash dash animals dot py. You, kinda, you can change the animals yourself. Instead of uh, dog, you can choose wolf. Change that out. Control X to exit. Yes, I want to save it. That's the letter Y. Hit enter. And then now we're going to play that game again. Python memory game animals.py. And uh, yeah, wolf. Now you see there's a wolf now instead of the dog. All right, so that is a wrap on coding with ChatGPT. This is a free account on a Raspberry Pi using Python. And that was coding fun games in Python using ChatGPT. Now this is part of a larger series where I will film the same video using other AI types. So please check those out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.